Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is accessing Key Vault secrets from Logic App Expressions. Let's go. Now this is a little bit of a follow-up to last week's video where I talk about programmatically accessing app settings from a Logic App Expression. And I had a follow-up question from Mike on Twitter just asking if the app setting, if the app setting contains a Key Vault reference, would this method also work? And so at the time I wasn't too sure, but I figured, well, let's go ahead and see if this does work. And it in fact does. And so that's the purpose of this video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out last week's video. It'll make so much uh, more sense from that perspective. And, and one other thing to add is that this method that I'm about to show you will work with network restrictions in place. So perhaps you've got a Key Vault instance and you've put that in a VNet and you're saying I only want to allow traffic from that VNet to go ahead and to communicate. Uh, this will still hold. And the other thing is managed identity will also still hold. So if you've established managed identity for your logic app and then you would like to use this method, this will also work itself. That's the configuration that I'm using in this particular video. Now, I'm not going to go through setting up managed identity. I've already done that in the past. Here is a link to that video. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and use that connector experience to go ahead and access secrets from Key Vault. But I do talk more about how you get that set up. So if you're not familiar with managed identity and how that all works, go ahead, check out this video. I'll include a link in the description as well. So if we think about the Key Vault reference inside of app settings and really this is an app service uh, capability and logic apps just inherits it uh, as part of like being part of that platform and what you actually do is you can go ahead and add a reference to an app setting where you have this kind of declaration almost like this expression itself that says oh this is of type microsoft key vault and then i can go ahead and provide the uri now, naturally, this method that I've just shown you will work when you've got managed identity because the authentication is going to take place already. There's that trust that's established between the resource that's requesting the key itself, in this case, Logic Apps, and the Key Vault itself. So I don't have to worry about any sort of secrets or anything like that because I've chosen to use managed identity. If you're using kind of the key value pairs or the secret approach, then you would want to use this syntax itself. I haven't gone, gone ahead and tried this. Um, there's no real reason to use this method if you can use managed identity. That's a, at least my perspective itself. Now, in terms of how do you then go ahead and access this? So what I do have is I have uh, I'm in app settings inside of my configuration as part of my Logic App Standard instance. And I go ahead and I create a key here. So I've got my key vault value. And then the value is basically that convention I just showed you. It's basically the URI to my key vault and then the name of the key that I want to go ahead and retrieve. And so that's what you see here as this like end of this URI here. So then what I do in a logic app, much like before, I can use the app setting expression. And then all I do is I pass in the name of my key, which in this case would be my key vault value. So quite simple in order to go ahead and do it. And then kind of behind the scenes, you know, the platform will then take advantage of like then doing the lookup itself and flowing that through. Let's go ahead. Let's just check out a quick demo and see this in action. All right. As mentioned, I'm in my logic app instance. I go click on settings configuration, and then I can go ahead and add a new application setting. I've got mine exposed here provide a name, I provide a value, I then have that URI path to my secret itself. Now let's flip over and check out the Logic App. So what I've got is I'm using that app setting expression and then I include the name of that app settings key that I want to then go ahead and retrieve. So we can now go ahead and run this. We'll do so just by running the trigger Okay, that's completed running. Let's go check out run history. And then let's check out the value. So here we see that we are basically extracting my secret, which is has a value of Microsoft. 
and uh, can go ahead and naturally use it as part of our logic app. Of course, you can go ahead and set secure inputs, secure outputs as needed, but uh, that's how you can go ahead and access Key Vault through your app setting config. So that concludes another video on the channel. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Obviously, you're on YouTube, so like, subscribe, comments, always welcome. Thanks, and we'll see you again soon.